Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. Arg. Good day, mates. I am Bill, the Asian pirate. Welcome to the Crazy Egg Roll, where today we will be testing out the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. We will be unboxing this device which we got from Amazon, and then we're gonna put it to the test with a tried and true Bisquick waffle recipe. So let's get at it. So here we have it, folks. This is the Dash Mini Maker Waffle. And this was a gift sent to us by a friend on Amazon. And we're gonna go ahead and open up the package here. On the side panel here, it boasts the uh, reason why this is such a wonderful device, including the fact that it's a 350 watt item and that um, it's easy cleanup, easy to use, blah, blah, blah. So let's get into this. And while I'm uh, opening up this package, so this piece of paper here is just an advertisement for... Uh, they're trying to get you to rate them on whatever social media site they use. Um, so it's really, really useless. The one thing that I did not see when I opened up this package uh, was the instruction manual that was kind of stuck on the, on the inside of the package. I did not find the owner's manual until after I had finished filming this video. So when you open up this box, make sure that you look in there for the red packet that has the instruction manual in it. I completely missed it. You see it right there. Anyway, here's the dash. It was uh, just wrapped in cardboard and a little bit of plastic wrap. And we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. The electrical cord is about a foot and a half, two feet long. Not very long, but just long enough for you to do what you have to do. And I was inspecting the waffle plates in here. Uh, as they do not remove, they are permanently affixed. And there you have it, the Dash Mini Maker Waffle. Pretty, pretty basic device. So here we have it, it's plugged in. And we're gonna let this baby heat up. So without having the owner's manual, I did not know how much batter to use, so I used a whole ladle. And you're about to see a very big mistake. I did not think it was a lot of batter until it started to expand. And all of a sudden we have Mount Vesuvius going here. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. So, next time around, we're going to spray the waffle maker with a little bit of Pam. I noticed that you have to use it uh, in order to prevent the waffle from sticking. Makes it release easier. And then, the instructions agree with me. You use about a quarter of a cup of batter. So, just enough to start filling the holes. And the batter will expand as it heats up. And after a few minutes, the light will go out. And then you're just going to cook the waffle to your desired level of doneness. So if you like your waffles soft and fluffy, I would not keep them in for very long. Usually, probably just a few seconds after the, the heater light goes out, uh, the waffles are done enough to eat. Or if you want them crispy, you can leave them in longer. Okay guys, so that is my unboxing of the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. Um, I like the device, it works very well, it heats up quickly and it cooks great waffles. So what do you guys think? Are you big waffle fans? Are you looking forward to trying this out? Uh, leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you for visiting the Crazy Egg Roll today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to receive future notifications. And give this video a thumbs up so others can find it as well. 
This is the Asian Pirate. Bon Appetit.